Good morning. Good morning. I hope you had have had a great week or made it till Friday, right? Friday, Friday, Friday. So I have some announcements. Um, your exam um, is going to be on Monday for chapter 25. Um, <clears throat> so study, study, study. And the best news is we are off Tuesday the 21st for Mardi Gras. So there will be no school on Tuesday. I will not be loading assignments for that day, which means that you're going to be cut down to four um, bell ringers and four labs and then whatever exams that you have for that week. Um, remember that your assignments are still available to you, even if it's a holiday and you can work on it um, if you have the time to and you wish to do so. So those are my two announcements. Um, I want to remind you guys of a couple of things. Please uh, look at your news and announcements regularly on your e-learning because I do put simple little things up there. Sometimes they're announcements. Um, sometimes they're just have a great weekend. But um, just make sure you're looking at your news and announcements. So um, this week on, well, on yesterday, uh, we did the chapter review, but we did the coding only. So today for our little video, we're going to go through um, our learning objectives and our glossary. And we're going to do this fairly quickly because what these are little snippets. Um, they're not full fledged lectures most of the time. Um, so let's just go ahead and go through. Um, I think we're just going to hit learning objectives. So this is coming straight out of your textbook. And without further ado, let's go. All right, so number one, the pathology and laboratory sections of the CPT is formatted according to what? Blank of tests performed. Type of tests performed. So my ever favorite, true or false, is a 50-50, but usually I get the wrong 50. So let's look. The collection of blood sample is included in the laboratory section codes. Remember we talked about venipuncture? That is going to be false. Number three, what type of general tests determine how much of a certain thing is in the body? Say calcium. That is going to be your quantitative test. So quantitative, quantity, how much, quantity. That's a way to remember that. In a panel test group of tests, may be performed. What is the rule for coding a panel code? Each test listed must be performed. We went through that when we talked about, remember we talked about uh, calcium ionized and then calcium total and how to pick the best panel. Number five, these tests are performed to identify possible use or non-use of a drug that is not a known prescribed medication. These are gonna be our drug assays. Number six, the tests only determine the process, presence of, our, of a substance. Let me try that again. The tests only determine the presence of a substance. That is a qualitative test. So quantitative is how much, Qualitative is to determine the presence of the substance. Number seven, what lab testing refers to a class of tests performed in which one substance is measured both before and after the administration of another substance? That is evacuative suppression testing. A clinical pathologist consultation was performed without a review of the patient's medical record. This is considered what type of consultation? It's a limited consultation because why? We didn't view the patient's entire medical record. Your analysis codes are for nonspecific tests performed on urine. Number 10, what tests is used to measure the kind and number of cells in the blood? That's going to be our blood count testing. <clears throat> Number 11, immunology codes report identification of conditions of the immune system 
caused by the action of antibodies. <clears throat> Excuse me, number 12. What is meant by autologous blood transfer? The reinfusion of blood or blood components to the same individual from whom they were taken. Number 13, bacteria are microorganisms that grow everywhere. We can collect and grow them in, in specially prepared blank dishes, petri dishes. 14, the automatic pathology codes are divided according to what criteria? Extent of the examination. Number 15, we're all where, oh, sorry, where will one find the laboratory work performed to determine whether cellular changes are present? Cytopathology subsection codes. How many levels from the surgical pathology subsection describe the specimen and work by the pathologist? That's going to be within your six levels. Number 17. What subsection contains a code for an unlisted miscellanesis pathology test? It's going to be listed under other procedures. 18. What surgical pathology level contains a gross and microscopic examination on particle kidney? Or, oh, sorry, on partial kidney. That's going to be level five. Now, guys, I want to um, just make a, um, just a statement of, even though I'm not necessarily assigning you a chapter exercise, a quick check, or a part of your uh, review on your chapter, because there is not time to do all of that uh, on my end. Um, I'm just picking one for you to submit. Please do all of your assignments. And I hope that you saw in the first, what, five questions, uh, when, I'm, when I'm probably boring you to death on these five minute videos, that it does help whenever it comes to answering questions. Have a wonderful weekend. See you Monday and get prepared to be off Tuesday for Mardi Gras. Bye, guys.